Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick. This is going to be a next video on the Olympic coverage. As we check in on Team Slovakia, men's team is the women's circuit is done. If you want to check out the videos I did on that, check out the women's Olympic playlist. Please and please subscribe down below or up above on the easiest widget to keep us going to 200 by the end of February. But let's get it going as we check in on Yurov Sovkoski's team and also, obviously, Rebar's team. As they've been doing really good, they're going for a bronze for the first time they try to medal in the Olympics, Slovakia does. After beating Team USA, they fell in a great battle to Team Finland after they Finland was the only team that really handled them in the preliminary um, round. Uh, they were the only team that was able to handle them. Slovakia then comes in and plays a great game in the playoffs. Slovakia had a couple of nice setups. Uh, other guys there were getting some nice chances on net. It, it just, <clears throat> Finland was able to hold them off and win that game uh, 2 to nothing due to great goaltending by them on their own and by Satiri. And that was a very good goaltending battle, a very good defensive battle, obviously. That ended up really being one nothing in terms of goal scored on the goaltenders, and then Finland iced it, where now Slovakia has a chance to play against Sweden, who played in a very great battle, lost two to one to ROC, which was a battle to the end type game as well. So these teams are coming in off of tough losses that they were very competitive into the end into the bronze medal game. I really like though uh, what we've seen out of Team Slovakia in this entire. Uh, tournament. Uh, they played, obviously, the young kid, Jurov Sovkoski, who's playing in the Finnish Elite League uh, this year, and is one of the top draft picks of the 2022 draft, is a huge reason why that's the case. Rebar is another reason why that's the case. Um, Harvick, their captain, um, is a great reason why that's the case. Um, so, so is a Michael um, Kaczkowski. Um, I, I mispronounce obviously some of these names. So. And then Tomas Yorko obviously adds the speed and uh, was always more of an AHL than NHL. But now that you don't have the NHL players over there, um, he's actually stood out and played pretty damn well, I would say. Um, so th th they've been getting to basically sum it up. Um, Zuzan's been playing well too, same with Kristoff. So they've been getting plays throughout their line. Nemec has even been. Uh, down uh, playing lower, and he's obviously one of the high draft picks in this draft as well. So, and then Dono's had experience over here. So they have a lot of guys that have experience in high leagues, whether it's Sweden, whether it's in the AHL, whether it's in North America, getting some NHL time themselves. So that really helps Slovakia go a long way. They probably honestly should have been respected more from the forefront as a sleeper team to be able to go on a run, which is exactly what they did to just then lose in the David versus Goliath matchup against Finland. But they have a chance now to medal in the bronze game, which will be the first time they medal. So that will be a huge accomplishment for Slovakia. But as a whole, because of how great their overall team is playing um, from first to fourth line. Um, and like I said, having the Danos of the world, the Kristoffs of the world, the Kurnats of the world, the Yorkos of the world. Um, Subkoski is one of the best prospects. Nemec's one of the best prospects coming into next year's draft. You got Rebar. Ne you got a very good team that plays good. Depth-wise, uh, line to line, they obviously have their stars like the Sovkoskis of the world that stand out. But um, then you have great play through and through from the other guys, the Dinos, the Takashas, uh, the Romans, um, the Kellermans, uh, Kristov, Zuzin. Sorry if I mispronounced some of these names, but like you have depth throughout this lineup. And they were one of the most fun teams to watch, I'm not going to lie. They get a B-plus, honestly, for this tournament this far. And it's going to go up to, if they win the bronze, an A-minus at least, if not an A. Because this team was defying certain people's expectations for them coming in, which they probably should have better expectations because they have guys that have played over in North America, whether it was the AHL or NHL. And they have guys that have played in very good leagues, whether it's Sweden, uh, the Liga in Finland. Uh, or in <clears throat> or in Slovakia or in Czech, like they have guys that have played in very good pro leagues. This team was probably overlooked a bit, and uh, they obviously then proved people wrong and went on a great run. They've been very fun to watch with Nemec and Slavkovskis of the world, and then with the Herviks of the world that have um, obviously been over here in um, 
North America before and had success, finding success in the Olympics, same with the Yorko, same with the Dinos, etc., etc. So I'm very happy for Team Slovakia to have a chance to medal in this tournament now, going up against Sweden in the bronze game. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a video checking in on Team Slovakia as they are having a great Olympic run that some people would not have predicted. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below or up above on the Easy to Use widget. Keeps going to 200 by the end of the month. Peace out, everybody.